Hey everyone, Marmazi. Welcome back to another episode of Civilization Reverse Colonization with Quill 18. Hey, folks. So we're still at oh. war with Brazil. <laughs> Are we ever? But we got Poland to join. We got Poland yeah, to declare so what war did you give them? on the Celts in exchange for my world leader vote for Poland. <laughs> they even gave me free gold per turn on top of that. Yeah, so I'm hoping that pulls back some of the Celts uh, ships and things to Dijon to defend it from Poland. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> but then... I moved some troops away from Florence because we uh, noticed that Belo Horizonte has an atomic bomb. Yeah. And they might actually be of that. They might. And I forgot, yervin has got like a billion trajillion troops that are kind of causing problems for me. Not not huge amounts of problems, but they're there. However, I'm fairly confident that we can hold Rio de Janeiro. Mostly thanks to the lake and the mountains. It's making it very hard to actually reach that city with melee units for Brazil. So, yeah, they, that so they can't just swarm us with melee units. Um... I can still do some attacks on this turn. Okay, so they can't hit me from the city, even with this rocket artillery. I can kill the helicopter gunship to the north, and okay. that's pretty much it. I can enter that lake and attack the rocket artillery. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the rocket artillery once. Mm -hmm. I'm have... a little bit low, but I don't think I can mm -hmm. be killed. I, don't, I can't be hit by anything other than the rocket artillery. Yeah, so. I can hit it with my bombardment free battleship, and that should do some really nice damage. Okay, do you need me to move my missile cruiser mm -hmm. at all? Uh, no. Okay. I'll let you go first then, just in case you happen to one-shot it, because artillery is pretty big. No, oh, okay, I no. won't one-shot it. Oh, it's got it's got cover one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah. And it's near a great general? Where's the great general? Oh, it's in Sao Paulo. Uh, so I'm going to hang back with my destroyer, just on the off chance we mm -hmm. need to retake the city. Okay. I, do, I, I want to try to avoid putting it in bombardment range and or nuke range. Yeah. Oh, speaking of nukes, I do have one nuke right now, but I don't think I can do anything super useful with it. I could nuke Newcastle from Marseille, but do we need that? Uh, where the hell is Newcastle? Uh, like on the east coast, northeast side of Ireland. Oh, oh, it's in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only city I'm I can I'm thinking nuke. Newcastle, so I'm looking where <laughs> Newcastle is in real life. Oh man, I'm so... <laughs> I've been playing too much EU4, mm -hmm. I think is the problem. Yeah. I'm used to real world geography again. It can get uh, confusing. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think there's any reason to nuke it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll keep Although, it for someone else, for Rome. If we took it, we could, re uh, we could release England. Yeah, this is true. Not any reason to do it, but we could. Then again, we would actually have to take it. One nuke will reduce it to 50%. Yeah. And we don't have any units nearby, so I don't think we would be able to take it, really. Kill the worker, <laughs> because reasons. Yeah, they have like a bunch of workers kicking around uh, yeah. near Rio, don't they? Like, why? What they don't care doing? about nuclear war. No. They just see, uh, something to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> They've been unemployed for way too long, and now there's actually something to do. <laughs> in other words, we're lowering unemployment in Ireland. We're the good guys. That's right. It, it's a make-work project, is what yeah. it is. <laughs> good for the economy. Um, right, if I move there, I don't think I can be... That, that worker can be stolen. Kind of an awkward spot for it. Uh, mobile Sam, just uh, sit tight where you are. You can do some more bombards. Uh, poor Boston. Oh, do you still want to take Cordiba? You do, right? Um, I'm, yeah, I guess so. I, mm -hmm. I moved, I, unfortunately I couldn't use my rocket attorney much this turn because mm -hmm. I wanted to move them out of range of Florence, just yeah. in case. But yeah, I, uh, I should be able to actually take it. Mm -hmm. I can come and help a bit with my rocket artillery. If you need some extra firepower. It's probably a good idea, just to speed it up. Mm -hmm. Might convince Brazil to peace out a little bit faster. I mean, it's pretty big. I could just keep it, but I'm still thinking that burning it down is the way mm -hmm. to go, because well, all the tiles that Kurtoba has, I could just work in another city. I think it might depend on 
what kind of happiness. buildings it will have once yeah. you take it. Well, up to plus 17 happiness now. Be because if the city keeps a lot of expensive buildings, it might be worth keeping it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, well, I mean, I'll take a look at it, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rio back down to zero hit points. Oh, there's a lot of melee units that have come into range. Oh, yeah. A lot. Wow. Crap. This will be interesting. <laughs> That mobile sum is going to be a problem. Yeah, two mobile sums. We might have to flip it. Yeah, I guess from the lake we'll focus on the mobile sam. Unless they start talking oh. now. Oh, Bodica wants to piss out. Well, there's no reason not to accept, I think. Yeah, I think that would be really good. And Ryo can actually start bombarding this turn. So we've got four units in range because I don't think uh, mobile okay. sams or sorry ships don't uh, have a zone of control. So we can actually piss out with Brazil right now. Oh well, hold on a sec. Yeah, yeah, do as much damage as we can first. Let me take a look at uh, Curitiba I'm, here. I'm I don't just saying. think. Actually, mm, hold on. I'll check if I'm in range. Uh, oh, no. I can take Curitiba. Yeah. Okay. I'm not close enough to attack it. Oh, I got a freaking river crossing now. So you can't take it. Can you? No. Mm. Uh, well, we could always flip Rio and then peace out on the next turn. Yeah. Well, and you're right, actually. We could easily do it because we've got enough bombard there. Even if they take the city. Yeah, you can retake it with the destroyer. There is a small risk that Brazil won't be able they won't be willing to talk anymore on the next turn because they change their minds sometimes. But Well, it, it's a bit of a gamble, I suppose. Yeah. What's your happiness I mean, at right now? It's at 17 right now. Mm -hmm. 20 oh, actually. So you have lots. There's really no way. They will almost definitely take Rio on the next turn. There are too many Yonis here and we can't destroy oh, all of Paris them. Paris got nuked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, hey, I have a cavalry around here. It's in Paris. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, I see it. I don't see Fallout. <laughs> yeah, it's there. I, I find it. it's kind of weird in that it doesn't always show up graphically. Mm -hmm. But if you mouse over it. There's definitely fallout, and the population is down, and okay, so all that. I'm going to hmm. focus on that mobile sum next to Rio, on the north you side. To the north? Yep. Okay. See how much damage I can do. I can almost destroy it. Can you attack it once with something? Yep. I guess I'll use this one. And I guess I'll get it one more time. Grab. Ah, okay. Right, and the city can attack as well. I'll probably just hit the um, the paratrooper in the bottom left, just directly south of Rio. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter. Actually, since they've got melee units kind of regardless, I'm wondering if I uh, should just go for the easier kills on the helicopters? No. Take out the melee units. Although it's got... There is still one yoke in Belo Horizonte. I wonder yeah, if, if I wonder if that's a neon yoke? It has to be a neon yoke. I would think so. They must have just moved one over. Hmm. I don't see any other explanation. <laughs> All right, I. I guess I'm ready for the next turn. This will be an interesting one. Lawrence built an armory. A more important question is, is taking Rio enough to stop a culture victory by Brazil? Oh yeah, that it, is it a should big be. question. Uh, let me... No one's built the Louvre. That's interesting. They need 59 turns. So it should be enough. 
They will get influential with the curls in 59 turns. Okay. Yeah. I think someone that, will build a okay. spaceship before that, probably. Or well, I maybe not, but that will be turn 580 almost. Okay, so... Do we... Uh, where the plan is to not peace out then? We'll just retake the uh, city? Yeah. Let's wait one and we turn. we should be able to. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to have to make sure that we move, say, your, your battleship that's right next to Rio? To give room for the battleship? Uh, yeah, yeah, or I'll move the it. Destroyer? Yeah, okay. All right. Next turning, then. You might lose that missile cruiser, though, on that lake one east the lake? of Rio. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I suppose I could have moved it. Especially out. with all that rocket artillery in range. Yeah. And Ria will lose some buildings, but I don't think we care about that all that much at this point. Oh, yeah. they failed to take the city? What? <laughs> well, I'm not getting excited yet, because sometimes it takes a while before everything moves and processes, mm. but... Yeah, but... I think Brazil you're is right. not blinking anymore, so their turn was done. What? AI hey, is so bad. Wow, how can you fail to take a city in this situation? I think he thought... I, I don't know what happened there, actually. I, I don't think there's any good explanation yeah. whatsoever. He did focus on your missile cruiser first, but it's a city without city walls with six population. How on earth can you fail to take that? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not like we're going to complain about that. <laughs> so, Curitiba only has a public mm -hmm. school, university, museum, amphitheater, and opera house. Oh, no, no, the building tab mm -hmm. has flipped down. Airport, granary, medical lab, zoo. It's not bad, and... I do have some extra happiness, but it's only got a handful of unique tiles to it. And it's hard to say. Well, I guess it depends on how much excess happiness you want to have. Yeah, I'm pretty good now. The question is how much more do we mm -hmm. need to advance things? I'm pretty sure this city does not give me any extra luxuries I wouldn't have access to already. I'm thinking I'm just going to burn it down. Okay. I think it's okay. And then it'll leave me with more happiness to do other takeovers later. Just make sure no one them. will resettle it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that well, would be a troll it, move. It, the borders should be there, mm -hmm. but if not, I'll, yeah, I'll buy things if yeah, need yeah. be. Uh, so let me kill a few random units, and hopefully they're still willing to peace out. Yep, they no. are. They, no, they are not willing to peace out with me. Oh, they are with me. Interesting. God. Jerks. Hey, well, tell me when. Uh, yeah, I'm just burning a few more uh, range attacks here. That's your sub. That's a Brussels destroyer. I don't think I can really kill anything else with this, so it doesn't particularly matter much. Um, back home. We got some city state units I could beat up, but that hardly makes a difference. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and peace out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, I can get Rome to declare war on Peugeot. Right now. Oh. Or a little bit of gold per turn. That might be worth doing. I think it is, with all the nukes I, I like Rome it. has. Yeah, yeah. And he might not be as willing if we uh, peace out first, so... Mm -hmm. The only problem is or that I might not have enough gold per turn for this. <laughs> I'll tell you in a moment. I have no... I'm like negative 261 right now. Mm -hmm. I gotta rebuild my trade fleet. Actually, that's what I should be doing in Florence instead of, uh, instead of that uh, cargo ship. Oh, he accepted for five gold per turn. Oh, well, there that's we go. nothing. <laughs> We're starting a world war. And I got so, a new policy. The next... I guess it's just Poland, really, is the question now. Yeah. They're obviously the big threat. Where? Oh my god, this is going to be brutal. Mm. Warsaw's at 42. I guess we have to move all our ships over to the east coast of Scotland. I think so. That's yeah, the only way it's going north? to happen. We can't get around the, around the north unless we can get open borders with Poland or the Celts. Yeah, you're right. We have to go south. Oh. Poland's oh giving me then we borders. need open borders with Rome if we go south, but that shouldn't be a problem. I have open borders to Poland, apparently. Which is odd. Other than that, I'm going to move a bunch of uh, troops in uh, Rouen. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
because we're gonna have to fight like multiple flanks unless I just want to have all my troops embarked off the coast of um, of Warsaw but I think that would be silly oh we have to we have to go from Rouen because we need London oh yeah yeah you're right I totally forgot about that I don't Stupid have English failing to mm. survive the onslaught of the Polish <laughs> yeah. giant. I don't have a lot of units, but they are pretty damn good. I have three rocket artillery units with plus one range and logistics. So that should help. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of them doesn't have plus one range, but it's 16 experience away from having it. Okay, I need to do a few trades. I wonder if Brazil is willing to do some trades. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. Never mind. So I have one nuke. Question is, how do you want to use it? We could nuke London. The only issue with Poland is that it will have a huge army. It has a yeah. lot of production. If they focus on military production, they will just keep producing units. Every do you still have do you still have a carrier for an atomic bomb for Warsaw? Yeah. Mm -hmm, I do. I may as well. I don't know. I suppose I should start moving it. Also, you should or we should probably leave some basic defenses in Rio because Brazil might want to retake that. That's true. How far away from our XCOMs? We could do something really crazy. Uh, what kinds of wonders does Rio have? It's got Uffizi, Sydney Opera House, Parthenon, Alhambra, Chichinitsa, and Prora. We could do something really crazy and gift or sell Rio to the Celts to help them fight Brazil's influence. Because that will increase their tourism and culture. I suppose and, that's true, and but it will slow we'd down. have to retake it to win. Yeah, this is true. We do. We're looking for a domination victory at this mm -hmm. point. In any case, Brazil might declare war on us again in 15 turns just to retake their capital. That's definitely not impossible. Yeah. So we shouldn't leave it completely undefended. And it would be a good idea to get city walls and things like that in there. Yeah, I'll... Um, I should probably annex that. But, but I suppose what I'm saying is that if Brazil declares war and if we're actually going to lose it, we can gift it to the Kells right before we lose it. If it comes down to you that. Can... Oh, mid-war like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty smart, yeah. Mm -mm. So if we're left with no other option, we can gift it to the Kells instead of letting Brazil have it. We still got the problem with Rome building a spaceship. They are only two spaceship parts away from actually completing that. Ugh. Yeah, that's not... It's really not great. Mm. Okay, let me annex the city. You know what? Yeah, I won't even build a courthouse yet. I'm gonna go straight for walls. And attacking Rome would be a little bit suicidal right now, probably. We have such a massive border with them. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not gonna get much easier. <laughs> yeah. But you're right. And I think Poland is the risk. If we don't go for mm -hmm. Poland soon, I'm not sure we'll be able to take them at all. Yeah, I agree. They will only keep getting stronger. They are currently producing nuclear submarines in Warsaw. I have a spy in there. My worker can't reach there. It's a shame Warsaw is so far away, because at this point it's easier to fight a land war with them. We would need a much bigger fleet than this, I think. Nuclear submarines are pretty strong against battleships. And we don't have nuclear submarines ourselves. Yeah. Oh, I can't path any units to Rio. Mm hmm that's really annoying. Wait, why? Unless the Celts... Well, because... Um, if you look between Newcastle and mm -hmm. Almaty, it's all Brazil border. 
Oh yeah, and yeah. South, it's the Celts, unless mm -hmm. the Celts are willing to give me open borders. Nope. So I would have to. I don't think I have an airport. You Actually, have, I, yeah. mm. I say that I have one in Curitiba, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which means I can airlift. Derp. But then you need an airport in Rio, unless it has one. Does it? You could always buy it, but that's not exactly cheap. Um. Yeah, it's got one. Hmm? Oh, nice. Yeah. So, something be said about not burning down Curitiba just for the airport. <laughs> 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 but I can use it for now, though, which is mm -hmm. nice. So I'm getting a worker and... An you infantry. can't stop raising it, can you? I think you can. I actually don't yeah. know. I never yeah, tried. Yeah, you, can, you can stop raising hmm? the city. Oh, okay. So maybe you should keep it for the airport then. I mean, if I stop raising it, then I can't start again, mm -hmm. but... No, you can start again. You can select any city and raise it other than your capital. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, all right, then. So I've done that for now. Just keep it for the... Uh... Oh, it's not puppeted. Um... When you go raise, it goes straight to occupied. So it's not puppeted city. Oh, okay. Which is fine. Uh, world leader. Let's see. 37 to win. 16 for Caesar. I we sold could... some of my votes to Poland. For world uh, leader? Uh, yeah, yeah. To hmm. make them declare war on Modica, remember? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it was a world leader vote. Mm -hmm. Um... I will probably just vote for Rome then, because mm -hmm. they can't win with this, and we'll hopefully keep them a little friendly a little longer. <laughs> so, I'm looking at the Inboro, and... I have no yeah. idea how we're going to take that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is... Wow, we're going to have to take Dublin first. Mm -hmm. And even then, yeah, there's not enough coast. I mean, we can't even get there. Oh, right, without it, preemptively declaring war. If we go from the south, it's blocked by Milan. And we, if we go from the north, it's also blocked. Brazil has a border. We would have to get open borders with Brazil or something. Which might be difficult. Or we'll uh, just maybe have we to can get Brazil to declare war yeah. on them. Yeah, maybe. That we would could... make life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And then, because taking Milan wouldn't be that hard. Because it's pretty small. I don't know. God, yeah, that's tough. What a tough map we rolled. Yeah. The lack of resources and just the geography is making things a little bit difficult. Mm -hmm. Nottingham has five fighters in it. Wow. They're very paranoid about air attacks. Does Poland actually have uranium? I'm trying to find some to figure out if they have nukes. That's no, interesting. Yeah, they do. They have some for trade. No, they don't have any for trade. That was mine. I don't think they have nukes. Mm, yeah, I don't see any. I see, don't see any planes in Warsaw. I don't know how much oil they've got. Probably lots, because there were quite a few patches in North. That's seven. Hmm. Oh, there's some more. Ten. Yeah, okay, so they got plenty of oil. Oh, he already pissed out with Pedro? Come on. Rome? Uh, oh, no, that was Bodica. But I can get Poland to declare war on Pedro now, in exchange for World Congress vote again. Oh, nice. By God, the Celts. That, wow, their peace treaty is already over. That's good. I guess yeah. our war was a little bit on the long side. Yeah, Poland is afraid of us. They don't have nukes. 
Because if they did it, they would, wouldn't be afraid of us. Right, that makes sense. And at least happiness shouldn't be a problem for me anymore because I took militarism. That's plus to happiness from barracks, armories, and so on. I wonder, like with Edinburgh, like can we just get mm -hmm. like, a ridiculous amount of um, XCOM squads and an actual nuclear missile or something? Yeah, I think that will have to be it. We might have to save it for last just because of how mm -hmm. kind of inconvenient and kind of YOLO that will be. You know, we might not be able to hold it or reinforce it unless we've got, you know, another dozen XCOM squads waiting at home. We could get a nuclear missile. Yeah, like an actual nuclear missile. It has 12 tile range. So these tiles to the northwest of Edinburgh, west of Brasilia, are actually in range. That's 11 tiles. So that's in range of a nuclear missile, but not in range of atomic oh, bomb. Oh, over there. Yeah. And we've got missile cruisers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, at least Yodo. I should get mine soon. Oh, you don't have any? Oh, okay. No, I had one, but it got destroyed on the way to Rio when Bodica declared war on me. Ah, uh, okay. But we still want to attack Warsaw next, right? Or what? Yeah, that, that's where I'm moving. Question is... Hmm. Maybe we should keep our fleet near London or something? I'm not sure. I think we should. Okay. Just to support our land army. Because Poland will throw a lot of crap at us once we declare war. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not worry about Warsaw yet. Yeah, Secure just London. take London first, then maybe peace out and then go for Warsaw. I doubt we can take both London and Warsaw in one war. The Polish army will be a little bit too big. They have a lot of production, multiple cities with 30 plus population. I know, and 42 in Warsaw. Mm. Yeah. Pedro stole some of my land, really? <laughs> and they have multiple manufacturers near Warsaw, so the production potential there is just massive. Yeah. Where did he steal your land? Uh, I think um, from Belo Horizonte. Oh yeah, I, I see it. There. That's Citadel. Oh, he stole the gold from you. Yeah. Oh, right. I already have open borders with Poland, so I can move through their territory. Me too. That's going to be faster to just go north. Well, I do hope Rome won't just complete their spaceship while we're preparing for this. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a possibility. I mean, we're trying our best here. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, also, Poland is actually number one in literacy. Interesting. Alright, let's get those Edinburgh trading routes up again. Try to crawl out of this debt hole. Oh, and you're about to finish some giant death robots. Uh-huh. Although that does mean that, you know, I won't be able to build a nuclear missile. Mm -hmm. True. I'm an awkward uranium number. I still have three uranium left, so I can. I have one. Mm-hmm, okay. So if you traded me one, then I could build a nuclear missile, uh, or I could right, trade I'll one, trade you, you one then. Two. No, no, I won't have enough production to build, so in the reasonable time frame. Oh, Recife fell to Rome. Oh, interesting. When, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess when you got them to declare mm -hmm. war again. Mm -hmm. Giant yeah, Rome has a huge army. Uh, so I'm sending you one uranium then. Okay. Wait, what? You're at minus 200 gold per turn? Yeah, well, all my trade routes went away. All right, yeah, I, I just have rebuilt five. the first one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're losing 200 science per turn or what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. It's not great. Do you have some spare gold? 
I have 18 gold per turn. I can send you some flat gold. Uh, 1,000. Okay. Well, that'll save us five turns of science. <laughs> That's most of my gold right now. Yeah, once I am building cargo ships mm -hmm. everywhere that I've got coast access, so they'll get back on board. My economy is fine as long as I got my ships. Well, at least I think it is. Yeah, mine's not great, but I got a lot of gold from my honor finisher. I'm not sure how much exactly I got, but it had to be at least 2,000 easily. Yeah, it should keep track of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone will count it for us. <laughs> Go back through all the videos. Every kill yeah. you ever got with your units. Mm -hmm. The one thing that's still getting on my nerves is that I can't faith by anything other than a great general. <laughs> that sucks so much. I got 1700 faith right now. Ooh. Yeah, actually, I can't buy any great people. Mm. I can only do buildings. Yeah. Also, I think it's time to make a cut. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, we ended... Oh, one war. That counts for something. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, folks. See you next time.